Oh. Okay. We got to get it around the... All right. This is going to be... Uh, let's see about this. Nope, that's not going to work. That was too sharp. Almost there, though. Nope, don't think we're going to make that. Good. This is going to be another great drop off. <laughs> Why? All the time. Did I somehow just manage to, like, completely own that turn-in? That was amazing. Sure, the trailer's not straight at all, and I'm going to need to straighten it, and I have no room, but... Hell. Also, somebody asked me, you think you can back a trailer in with just using the mirrors without sticking my head out? I probably could, but what's the point? If I can stick my head out, why not just stick my head out? Especially if it helps me. I mean, anything to help you park, do. I mean, don't do it because you're looking cool or whatever. I remember, <laughs> it's kind of a stupid story, but when I was getting my driver's license, um, obviously, you, when you're going for your driver's test, you have some random person sitting in the passenger seat of your car that you've never seen before. And uh, there was a portion... Uh, I am fucking this right up. I have lost all my ability to be able to like park trailers in places. I'm just going to pull all the way out. We're going to do it again, which I know is probably not the greatest idea, but I feel like I can line it up a little better by turning in this way. But yeah, so I was going to get my driver's test. It was the portion where they made you reverse to see if you knew how to reverse. And, um, I didn't know the person that was sitting next to me, obviously, because you're in a driver's test at some random person from the DMV. Um, so I didn't put my arm around the passenger seat just because I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to make it awkward for this person. Oh, God. Getting to the point is getting to the point where I'm missing that day cab. Day cab might come back because <laughs> this is getting a little ridiculous. There we go. Okay. There we go. Just gonna go a little forward and then a little bit back. And we're good. All right. So. Go ahead and turn that on. Step out. We'll take a look at the truck. That's pretty good. Right exactly where they wanted it. Not bad. But, uh, oh, quickly. So we did 195 miles. Took us 8 hours, 23 min minutes. 54 gallons of fuel. $4,368. 278 XP. As you can see, I'm about a little more halfway through rank 20. So we're going to be at 21 pretty soon. Um, which is pretty good, but quickly we're just going to take a look to see if there's a very short run leaving uh, San Francisco and going somewhere very quick. Less than 100 miles, less than 200 miles, something very, very short. Doesn't appear that there's anything, but we need to rest anyway, so we're going to drive over to a rest stop and we'll figure it out there. Uh, but yeah, so I, um, you know, I didn't put my arm around the lady when we were doing the uh, driver's training course or the uh, the actual test for the uh, my license and I got marked down for it. And I thought, okay, so I understand they say that that position is supposed to help you be able to move your head without straining it, seeing all the positions and everything. But if I can still look behind me 
and I can still check my mirrors. Does it really matter if I am straining my neck and I, if I don't have my arm around the passenger seat? Like, is that something that is absolutely necessary? Because it just doesn't seem like it should be. It doesn't seem like it's a thing that should be necessary to do. Um, that's just me. I don't know. But I also got marked down um, for taking corners too quickly, is what she said. She said, try not to take corners so quickly. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then I bought a Miata, so lol. Taking corners too quickly in a Miata is the only thing that you should do with one. All right, so anyway, we're just going to quickly rest here. And uh, we'll see what happens if there's a load, a very short load, leaving San Francisco. Because we don't have much time. That parking spot took, it gave us a good amount of, lost a good amount of time there. Uh, <laughs> San Francisco to San Francisco, we could just do that one. Um, I think we might have to, to be 100% honest. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. All right, we're going to run a quick, this is going to be really strange uh, and totally different, but that's fine. We're going to run a very short run of, it appears to be cars, right? I don't know. We'll find out when we get there. Cars from San Francisco to San Francisco. So we'll have a pickup and a drop off in a very short time, but that should give us a good amount of time to be able to complete because we're going to have to go 30 miles an hour everywhere and then the drop off is going to take another 10 minutes and then we'll have a good enough time because I don't want to make these episodes too short, like I said, but I am also still a little bit on of a time crunch. Um, just trying to get things done, trying to get back up to schedule, like I said, after taking Monday. I didn't really take Monday off. I just didn't do what I normally do on Mondays, which is, you know, record American Truck Simulator, get some multiplayer stuff done and recorded and out. I was just not feeling it, really. And then also this morning, um, it took me a while to get up and get going and get getting things um, recorded and, and all that and working because I just, my stomach was really upset this morning, which was very strange. I typically, I've, I've had stomach aches from waking up in the past. Um, but I don't know today. I just, it, that's what woke me up was my stomach ache, which is just odd because I've woken up and been like, Oh yeah, eh, my stomach doesn't feel great, but that's what woke me up today. I was like, Oh man, my stomach feels terrible. And I woke up. So, um, just took a while to get my stomach to calm down get a little back to normal before i can start working again or start working for today so unfortunately i just have been really behind uh not my greatest start of a week to be 100 percent honest but then again i think about um you know how long i've done this how long i've youtube for coming up on four years now um and just the week after week day after day you know, making videos, which is great, but I also don't really get to, I've, I've lightened up on myself. I used to be really hard on myself if I would miss a video or if it would go out late. I would really take it as a big failure and be, you know, disappointed, really. Um, but as I've done this for longer and longer, I realize that, you know, everybody has bad days. Everybody has good days. There's days where I get so much done. There's days where I get nothing done. And that's just what happens. That's the same as if somebody were to work a nine to five. You know, there's days where you would get a lot of stuff done or no stuff done. That's just what it is. Unfortunately, um, well, not really unfortunately, but my, my job is, is watched by, you know, a lot of people, thousands of people. So compared to uh, the average nine to fiver if you have a bad day you don't really get that much work done well you didn't have 10,000 people plus you know watching waiting seeing what's going on I just feel really bad because if I don't get if I'm not in a mood to get work done or if for whatever reason work doesn't get done or videos go late or videos don't go out at all like I said, I'm not as hard as on myself as I was before. I still don't like doing it. It's still not very enjoyable. I really like, I want to be able to get videos out because I know there's a lot of people out there that count on my videos going out. Um, but it just means that sometimes you get in the situation where you have to record when you don't feel like recording. Um, which isn't always the best. You know, I definitely would prefer to hold off and record when I felt uh, better. But... All I do is if I'm just not in the moment to record, I know I need to record something for that day. 
typically I'm a day ahead, so it's not that big of a deal. I'll wait a little bit, see if I can feel a little better later. Um, oh. Okay, so that trip expired from San Francisco to San Francisco. Good. The time it took us to drive down the street. Well, that's actually super annoying, to be 100% honest with you. Uh, oh, God, okay. Yep, we're just going to take this to San Francisco then, or to Sacramento. I don't know how this is going to work. We're 35 minutes into this recording session. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. We're just going to do this run to San Francisco, and I'll figure it out. Unfortunately, it's getting hotter and hotter in here. I feel like the air conditioner has turned off, which is not good, because now it is climbing dramatically. Um, I think in the past about 20 minutes, it's climbed 6 degrees. I'm not even kidding you, um, which is a little bit ridiculous. I mean, come on. That is a little insane. Uh, but yeah, so... You just get in those situations where you just don't really feel like recording, which, like I said, I'm typically a day ahead, so I just kind of relax uh, for a little bit longer until I get in the mindset to record. Then I record them, it's no problems. Uh, there are the other times, though, where it's just I don't have the luxury of waiting, so I just have to do it. And it's just one of those things where, compared to a normal 9 to 5, if you have a bad day or an off day or just not feeling 100%, you're just, it's, you're watched by thousands of people um, compared to. A nine to five where you might have a boss or a supervisor or a coworker might notice that you haven't done a certain thing, but that's pretty much the extent of it. Like three people might notice. Uh, not that you can get away with not working, and it's not that I can't just get away with not doing a video. There's trust me, there's times where I've been like, I just can't do it. Just can't do it right now. Just cannot record not putting a video out. And I've done that many times in the past. I have just said, Hey, can't do it, sorry. It's just not gonna happen. Um, but with, uh, with yesterday, I just, I just could, I really wasn't feeling it. I really wasn't feeling it. I, I knew I had to record. I knew I had to get stuff done. And it was one of those things where I was just going to wait a little bit more time, give it a couple more hours. And, and, uh, I just got to the point where it was just too late. And then I just got exhausted and just was like, you know, I, I'm just I'm not fit to record right now so that's why today has kind of been the main the, the big rush to get up and get going and get things working again so um, it sucks like I said I'm not I, I don't like when I don't get videos out um, not as hard on, on myself as I used to be but uh, it's still not enjoyable missing videos it's just one of those things that you just kind of like look back and go man especially because I have a whiteboard come on dude I have a whiteboard calendar, um, so I write down all my videos that I have uploaded and ready to go and stuff, and it just makes it, it makes it easier to know what videos are going out on what day, what gaps I have, you know, what I need to get done. It just helps me kind of stay a little more organized. Well, the one thing that really sucks is looking up at that whiteboard and not seeing, and seeing a gap, seeing a hole of a video that wasn't uploaded on one day or, you know, missed a full day or whatever the case may be, just any sort of hole where there's a video that should have gone out that hasn't it just sucks looking up and seeing that and going well that's that could have been avoided but like I said I've been doing this for a long time I think I'm getting to the point now where I almost have 2,000 videos on YouTube last time I checked I think I had like 1,800 and something so I've been doing this for a long time so I'm, that's why I'm kind of not getting hard on myself uh about missing a video or them being late. That's what I've kind of been doing now. Instead of just missing the video, I've been trying to just see if I can delay them. They'll still come out on the day I want them to come out, not the time I want them to come out. But that way I can, you know, be able to uh, still get the videos done, still feel like actually wanting to record instead of, you know, if I were to, for whatever reason, feel not feel up to doing it, I could delay it a little bit of time, get in the mindset to do it, do it, and then just be ready to go and get those videos out later in the day compared to not at all. So that's kind of what I've been doing. It's just trying to get them out eventually um, in that day. If I can't make it that day and if I know there's no way I'm going to make it, then I just will call it and say, no, it's just not going to happen. But 
yeah. Just one of those things. Um, you know, it happens to the best of us, unfortunately. There's just days where you're just not up to it. And I think summer is one of those times where the heat just, like I said, the heat makes me extremely tired. The heat drains me with my energy. And when you're low on energy, you don't really want to record. Um, not that summer's going to, like, ruin me or anything, but just, you know, I just... I am not looking forward to it, is what I'm saying. Because I know I'm going to be tired. I know I'm going to be low on energy. And I'm not a very high-energy person in the first place. So, to have a low-energy person low on energy, yeah. But, you know, like I said, I'm not... I'm not too worried about it. As long as I can get the videos out on the date that I wanted to get them that out, I'll be happy. Sure, it's not ideal. I'd rather get them out at the times that they're supposed to be out, but it happens. It's just statistically impossible to be able to get every single... For how many videos that I've done, for how long that I've done it, it's just... It's statistically impossible to have gotten every single video. Like, there's no way I could have YouTubed for four years straight and had done two videos a day every single day, Monday through Friday, and then two videos on weekends. And there was a point in time, a long point in time actually, about two and a half years, almost three years, actually no, I think about three years, where I was doing two videos a day every single day, weekends included. You know, I was doing 14 videos a week. Statistically, it's just not possible that you're going to get all those, especially if something goes wrong or you have something else going on or you're like you're just in one of those moods it's just it's there's so many different factors of of it but i think i've just accepted that now compared to when i first started youtube and i was like no it's not acceptable to miss a video i have to get a video out i gotta do it doesn't matter um and if i were to miss it i would just feel real bad and just like demotivated not wanting to do anything but now i just realized that hey it happens it happens to the best of us you, you can't win every single one. There's going to be days where you can go out there and get a ton of stuff done, and there's going to be days where you're just not going to get anything done, and that's just the world. That's just how it works. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, yesterday was one of those days, and today seems like one of those other days. So yesterday was the day where just nothing really got done. Today is going to be one of those days where a lot of things are going to get done because I've pretty much already made five videos. I'm going to make another two or so possibly um i've already made yeah so i'm gonna make say seven videos in a day that's a pretty productive decent day I, I i enjoy those days being productive in a day is so much more enjoyable than not getting anything done and trust me when i say like just because i don't feel like recording it doesn't mean that i'm like you know loving everything and i'm like watching netflix and chilling and like yeah sure whatever you know like no it's I'm trying to get mentally prepared to change my mindset to be able to feel up to recording if it's that bad to the point of I just really do not feel like absolutely doing it. Um, you know, I, I just, I try to get to the point where I can do it because I don't want to not do it. I want to do it. It's enjoyable. I like doing it. So it's not a fun process of not being able to make videos. Actually, I have more fun making videos than I do not making videos. Um, you know, typically if I... If I have a week, if I, okay, so I've had weeks before where whatever reason I'm like super productive and just everything falls into place, no technical issues, just I can get around with the group and we can get a lot of recording done and let's just say I just knock everything out. We do some SAPDFRs, we do some GTA Onlines, I do LSPDFRs, American Truck, I just do all that in like two or three days and get the whole week's done worth. Uh, those days that I'm not doing anything, I'm honestly kind of bored. <laughs> I'm just kind of sitting around going, mm, I wonder what I could be doing. I wonder what kind of videos I could be making. I would much prefer to sit there and make videos compared to the alternative of sitting there not making a video, especially not making a video because I don't feel good enough to record. Like, that's not, I hate that feeling. That is the worst feeling. Just to sit there and go, uh, I just kind of, I don't think I'm going to be into it you know one of those and it's just like it sucks it really does not fun i'd much rather just be able to wake up in the morning and go well, yeah let's do it which is well most days but like i said you get the occasional moments where 
you realize that uh, that you're just not feeling it and you just got to skip a day or skip a video or do whatever you got to do but I'm not too worried about it <laughs> All right, so we're pulling into Sacramento, finally, after that totally just random nonsense jargon that I was spitting out there about, you know, making videos and whatnot. Um, we need to drop off at MHA Service, which I'm assuming is going to be a uh, truck service place, so the drop-off might be a pain in the ass. Uh, I don't think this trailer, this trailer is a little bit long but I don't think it's, like, anything crazy. So. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see the drop-off when we get there. Hopefully it's not going to be anything too crazy. This video is actually going to get a little bit longer than the other one, I think. If I can, yeah, maybe. going to be a, 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 yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out in editing, editing. I didn't want to go for long because, like I said, I'm strapped for time. I I need to get this uh, the first video edited and coded out and everything and done and uploaded so it's it's viewable for today. Otherwise, you guys won't get an American truck sim today, which would be very unfortunate. So I didn't want to go for a long time, but here I am 45 minutes later. Just pretty much a standard American truck sim recording later. Okay, let's see where they want this thing. Please don't be in that back corner. It is going to be in that back corner, isn't it? Yeah, it's that back corner. Okay, so... Um... Maybe I can turn around in here. Oh, God, this is just going to be a fucking mess. Yeah, they want it right there in front of that door, just like the other one. I see some comments from you guys, too, about how there's actually a lot of people out there that dislike the MHA uh, map mods uh, drop-off uh, things. And I will agree. I got to admit, um, with standard American Truck Simulator, uh, the drop-off points weren't bad. I really didn't mind them. They, were, they had enough of their challenge to them that they were satisfying, but they... Uh, they also kept it realistic, and it, it wasn't absurd to be able to get something done. I feel like, uh, oh god, that was very close to hitting that pole. Um, yeah, MHA definitely adds a whole nother aspect of, of parking trailers in weird spots, and I don't know 100% honest if it's a needed aspect. Um... There's just, I just don't, yeah. Like this. This just doesn't make sense to me. It is such in the most ridiculous spot. I'm not even... I, I don't have enough room to turn the truck around. Well, okay. So I don't have enough room to flip the load. To make it go around as a, this way as I'm turning it right now. I don't really have enough room to do that because they want it in such a weird spot. God, this is all my... Hold on, I'm getting out. I'm looking at the, my mess here. How do they want me to do that? Because if I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Okay. This is getting aggravating. It also doesn't help that it's now 70... Seven degrees in here. Getting hot and I'm getting sweaty. That is definitely aggravating. Okay. So, let's straighten this out. Okay. And then just turn it in. Where are the wheels? Okay. Trying to keep an eye on those back tandems there. All right, let's try to straighten out. 
There we go. Boom. Just had to approach at the right angle. And done. All right, parking brake on, flashers off. Take a look at this, another ridiculous parking spot <laughs> drop off that we've had to do. My God, this video is very long. We're gonna go ahead and drop this trailer off right now. Um, 172 miles, four hours, 46 minutes. We got $4,777, 300 XP. We need another uh, about 400 XP to rank up. Actually, no, 1400 XP to rank up. Um, so we're going to be here for a little while, rank 20, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit the like button. It really does help me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.